Hello and welcome to another episode on Worldview Connections. This is Philosophy of Religion Part 8 with Isaac Matthews. I'll just let you know that this will be divided up into uh, video sections within Part 8. Uh, so here we go. Getting into presuppositionalism. Uh, we're going to be going down this rabbit hole today. In the beginning, what is the origin of life, the scientific claims, and the theological claims? But do we have to choose sides? We already discussed these guys, Francis Collins and Dr. Uh, Richard Dawkins, um, on the last video. Now we'll discuss some ideas from Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson. Now I will say, if you have not watched the discussions between Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson, I encourage you to do so. There are a lot of topics I'm not able to address here now, and I don't really want to address some of them, but they talked about morality and all kinds of things. This is just an image of videos one, two, three, and four, when they met in Vancouver, when they were in Dublin, when they were in London, um, that being sponsored by uh, Pangburn Philosophy. So Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson, one some of the parts I wanted to talk about uh, eventually is the origin of life, the origin of consciousness. Um, but first I want to hit on an element and an approach that Dr. Peterson uses. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of things here, but first of all, to these questions, the origin of consciousness, the origin of life, are there answers to these questions that we humans have access to? If so, are we even able to understand them? Um, for example, it's a huge mystery. Even scientists acknowledge that they don't know how things originated of all life in the universe from physics to chemistry, ultimately to biology, life. There are many great theories out there, but they're great mysteries, ultimately, that religion and science, uh, a lot of great philosophers and thinkers are trying to figure out. But can we hold the science and faith? Uh, I, my position in bold here on the top is hold to all truth. Um, a question is asked, did God use evolution to create life? And must we choose a binary, polarized, divisive, and combative mindset worldview or position on these topics? Again, scientists admit ignorance on how all life originated. Uh, I've listened to some interviews of Richard Dawkins where he says we don't know how life originated. But as an evolution biologist, he can look at how things have taken place over millions of years. Uh, so we're not going to disregard that. We talked about uh, Francis S. Collins in the last video. I asked the question, how do good and smart and honest people like him go from basic belief in God and theism? He, he has said in interviews and in his book, he didn't want to just settle with the deism where God just created it and left it. But how does he get to that active Christianity, the biblical view was there evidence? What was his method of knowing that Christianity is true? And those who read the book have criticized that his ultimately he doesn't have a real argument for Christianity. It's just like he had this feeling he looked at waterfalls and things and they kind of tear that down. But I, I value people's subjective experiences and I'm not going to throw it out. And that's his personal experience. I simply trying to learn from his journey. So today we apply that to uh, Jordan Peterson and the, within the next few videos, We'll be continuing through presuppositionalism. We ask the same question. Now, Jordan Peterson is a little different. We will look at how he defines God later, uh, but I'm concerning myself today with there's an approach with how he debates. Uh, but Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson, again, two very intelligent, respectful, sincere men. Um, People wonder if they're getting any closer to knowing anything about the origin of life and the big questions about God existing. Um, we'll, again, we'll get to some other details later. But what is the big takeaway from these things? Um, today's big questions, and for the next few, I say today, but this will include all the other videos coming, um, is what is presuppositionalism and how does presuppositionalism support or lead one to Christianity? And why does Dr. Peterson utilize this method, which I've included in this video, that question? How do we get from basic theism to knowledge that God is the omni-God? Um, and so we'll be looking at that. Uh, if this is possible, how do we know Jesus is the literal uh, God? So we'll be getting more into this in the next video. Thanks for listening and tune into the next video.